Today, we are gonna discuss how to find the juiciest pear out there. There are a lot of things to consider and we're gonna dive right into it. Yeah, so today what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off with issues of quality. So just making sure that you're not gonna pick a pear that is a dud. And we're gonna go over things like the shape, uh, the dreaded bow tie effect that people often will hear or read about. Um, we're also gonna kind of go over, uh, do an overview of the choices that are available to you. You know, the, the, the length and width proportion. Questions like, do you wear the point up or down? And then we're gonna end off with giving you two solid ways to properly assess pear stones so that you can pick the perfect pear for you. We're always filming new videos and we love your support. Make sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you will be the first to know when a new video drops. So first off, let's just go right into this shape, okay? So consider that the fact is that, uh, you know, the diamond cutter is literally chiseling out the hardest substance on earth and they wanna make sure that it looks like a nice pair. So take a look at that. At the top, we have the head, the shoulder, the belly, the wing, the point. Okay, so there is no standardized way to cut this. I always say when it comes to fancy shaped diamonds, it comes down to the art of the cut. Okay, a pair is not a pair is not a pair. It really is so subjective in the design and the cut of the cutter's hands. So this is gonna be the most basic and easiest assess. So just think of like, you know, for example, let's say you had a pair with a high shoulder, a little bit too high to the head, kind of starts looking a little bit more triangular like, a, like an arrowhead or there's other ones where you might see it where the wing is really straight. You kind of lose kind of the curvature that kind of makes a pair look kind of nice and plump. Uh, you know, the other obvious things are just simple, just, you know, uh, there's some pairs where cutter cut it, but it wasn't really that symmetrical. So you got a point on one end where the shoulder's high, but it's a little bit rounded on the other. So these are kind of easy things to spot. Number one, so looking at carrot, carrot already is something that we address in a separate video about why it's the most meaningless concept that most people focus on. It is probably no truer than with pears. Okay, so take a look at these two pears that we're showing you. Look at the carrot weight difference versus the actual size difference, okay? Completely meaningless, okay? The way that carrot pear, pears are cut, proportion, it is not standardized. Um, Carrot is something you do not want to focus on when it comes to pears. You know, it's very obvious looking at these two stones that they're different in size. But what's also obvious is take a look at the difference in sparkle. The problem here is that the sparkle has completely to do with the cut. Now cut on pears are not standardized at all. So you can't look at the grade alone to be able to assess the cut. You actually have to look at the diamond you have to compare them to other pairs so that you can make sure that the sparkle is, is top notch. The last thing that we're just gonna go that's relevant to quality is the dreaded bow tie effect. Okay, so if you haven't heard about it, it is this bow tie that often appears in pairs, literally looks like a bow tie, okay? And the long and short of it is, it has to do with the way that the stone has been shaped, and often it has this undesirable kind of black streak going across. So you want to look for a pair that uh, basically doesn't have that. I often find it's, it's more, of a, more of a spectrum than it is a specific just black or white has it or not. So you will get some of them that have a little bit less or more. But, um, you know, the best cut pairs have basically no bow tie. Now that we've gotten through all the quality concerns, we can get to the fun stuff and discuss your personal choice. The first thing that I want you to consider is the proportion of the pear, okay? So you can get pears that are more plump, more rounded. You can get pears that are more tall and skinny. This totally has to do with personal preference, okay? So we'll, we'll often walk our clients through to show them different proportions. You, your eyes will tell you which one you're leaning towards. The other effective way to really determine this is going to be to uh, try it on on your hand. Now. For our clients that meet with us in store, that's obviously very easy. They can try it on in store. But for our virtual clients, we actually superimpose the diamond that you're choosing onto a picture of your hand. So you'll be able to see how much, how much of your finger are you able to see in compare to the pair. You know, do you like that it's elongating your finger? Do you want it a little bit more lusciously plump? There, there really are just so many different ways that you can consider this and it's highly subjective and personal choice. 
All right, see, the, the other thing that we're gonna talk about is the color. So a uh, pear is one of the more unforgiving shapes. When it comes to color, it just simply means that the body color of the stone is a little bit easier to see for some people compared to, let's say, something like a rat. Um, we're gonna link to the video we did on color. For those of you that aren't familiar, you can just dive into that. Uh, we basically recommend the same test we recommend in that video, which is basically the color test, the blind color test is what we call it. And essentially where it's where we show our clients a lineup, that range, and you can kind of find out whether you are sensitive to that or not. And near the, toward, just towards the end of the video, we will kind of address what we think is the best way for you to assess this. Finally, do we wear the pair point up or point down? Again, this is totally comes down to personal preference. Depending on the design that you've chosen, depending on, on the way that you like it, some of my clients love to have the point facing them. Others like it facing out towards your audience. Um, you know, you might find that you like to wear it point up, point down, depending on the day. Or there might be a proportion that you love and you stick with that and that's how you wear it every single day. All right, we're, we're nearing the end of this video and we are gonna address how to assess those juicy pears that you're considering. Okay, number one, it is so important that you are looking at the pear unset and it has to be flat. You wanna look at uh, multiple ones side by side on the same surface because you wouldn't be able to tell otherwise if they were all kind of uneven, some are set, some are unset, um, it would distort the reality. Yeah, number two. Three important lighting conditions. Lighting condition number one, okay? Ideally, you wanna see it by window light. Not direct sunlight, but by the window, and not under any artificial lighting. Uh, what does this allow you to see? Number one, it's gonna really help you assess um, if there's something inherently wrong with the stone, uh, things that are off the grade. You know, you can read more about that uh, in, our, in this video that we will link into. Uh, secondly, though, this is where most people will see differences in color if they can see it, okay? So that, that's number one. So window light is number one. Uh, number two, we like to say a flat for fluorescent light. Um, what does that allow you to see? Uh, it usually helps people to really see the shape of each stone individually, okay? Second thing for some people is if there are certain types of imperfections that are visible, you can often see it in this type of light. Um, the last thing, sparkle test. You want it under a direct type of halogen or LED lighting. What this allows you to, as you kind of twist, you gotta twist and turn the, the surface that the stones are on. It allows you to assess how they sparkle, okay? And this is really, really critical. Of course, this is really easy to assess when you're in store with us. We have different lighting stations set up here, but we also have these lighting stations set up on our virtual studios. Um, we'll, we'll walk you through each one and really be able to see you know, what sticks out to you. So if you're ready to pick the juiciest pair out there, whether that's in store or virtually online in our studios, reach out to us and we'll start the conversation.